What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing the custom brake lines on my 1995 Honda Civic. Today, I'm going to be trying to complete the line that runs under the car. Originally, there was actually two lines that ran from the front to the back of the car for the rear brake lines, but I'm actually only going to, going to be running one line and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So how I'm going to do that is with a custom proportioning valve. This is the factory proportioning valve and I'm going to be removing all of this and just using a single aftermarket proportioning valve that I'm going to have to manually adjust, but that should only have to be done once and then I'll be good with my brake proportions. So this is going to be mounted probably somewhere right here or here. I'm gonna to have to remove this clutch line to kind of figure out. I'll probably have to run the clutch line differently so this will fit down here. But basically this is going to mount right here and there's gonna be one line that runs out of this master cylinder into this, and there's gonna be one line that runs out all the way back to my rear brakes. So it drastically simplifies the brake systems on these Civics or Integras or really any 90s Honda. Honda use these proportioning valves. Keep in mind if you have ABS, um, this won't work, but if you delete ABS, you could definitely go with something like this and only have one line running to the rear of your car. So once again, here's a quick look at the factory lines that ran under my Civic. These are the two brake lines. I had a fuel feed line. One of these is the fuel return and then one of these is a vent line. I'm going to be relocating the whole venting system to the rear of the car. We'll talk about that in a future video. So I'm going to be not going to be running a vent line all the way up to the front. The gas tank is just going to vent in the rear of the car. The return line I will need, the feed line I will need, and then I'm only going to have one brake line. So I need to come up with a new solution to mount the new lines to the car. So let me show you. Over here I got all my tools I've been using. It's a little bit of a mess from when I did the rear brake lines. But anyway, I found these mounts online. So luckily there's three and it's almost the perfect width. It's a little bit wider and I'm probably gonna have to trim these just a little bit to get everything to fit under the car but this will work perfectly for me because I can do my brake line, my fuel feed, and my fuel return. I still haven't decided if I'm going to use these lock nuts or if I'm just gonna use a riv nut. I'll probably end up, the thing is the riv nut so much, the riv nut will be a little bit, uh, it'll probably be about the same length. I'll probably end up going with the riv nut and I can just put a little bit of Loctite on these since they are a smaller bolt and it should be good. So I'm gonna mock these up under the car and if we have to trim these, we'll go ahead and do that. So we're under the car. This is where my brake line needs to run. It needs to run down here. And we're going to do a bend. And then we're going to go to about right here is where the factory mount was mounted. So we're going to take one of our aftermarket clamps and then mount it right in there. So we're looking down where the brake line and the fuel lines would run. As you can see, this almost fits on there. It's just a little bit off. But I think what I'm going to do is try to scrape off some of this factory coating on here and see if I can get this a little further over. And maybe, yeah, we'll probably have to end up trimming this, but I'll scrape it off first and see how it works.
Okay, so I got all the mounts on the car now. These front two, I just have held on with one bolt, as you can see right here. So I just put one screw in here right now in case I need to adjust them a little bit. And I got the front one up here also the same way. So now, let's take a look at what's going on in the end of the engine bay. And I think the problem is I don't really have enough room right here with the clutch line for this proportioning valve. I really want to just mount it pretty much exactly where the clutch line is right now. And the clutch line doesn't have to be here. I think it can run kind of tucked up against here under this brake line here and then down. So I'm going to, I have a shorter, I have a shorter um, flex line here and I have the actual correct bracket that's supposed to be on the transmission. So I'm gonna mount those up and see where I can mount the clutch line so that it will be out of the way of the brake proportioning valve. So right here, we got the correct clamp for this clutch line that originally came with the transmission. I got a new one because this one didn't have it on there. This one is actually just a cut up clamp that I had on my D16 transmission. So this looks like it'll put it in a little bit better of a position. I also have the OEM correct line, which is a lot shorter than the one I currently have on there. So this should be the solution to our issue. Okay, so I'm not going to actually hook this up, but if I put this in here, this is going to put us, maybe we can go like right around here. So we're going to be right around here, and we used to be all the way over there. So we'll be able to mount our proportioning valve where our clutch line used to be, and we can re easily relocate our clutch line to right here. Okay, so I got my proportioning valve just mounted up to an existing hole here, but I actually really like this location here, so I'm probably going to leave it there. And then I had another existing hole over here I was using for my ground, and I'll probably end up using that for the clutch bracket. <clears throat> so, I just tested my, I got a spare cane over there. I just put that up and made sure that cleared this little line I made real quick here. So this is just a test line that I put under here. It's just in there. just bends up there. So this clears the K-member. There's plenty of room, so I'll kind of use this as a template later when I bend the full line, because I don't want to put a junction in my line, so I'm going to try to just have a line that goes all the way from the proportioning valve all the way back to the rear brake line T that I have. So like I said, this is just a test line. I'll use this as a template. It's finally time to start building up and bending up the full brake line. Okay, so I don't know how much you guys just saw on that time lapse, but I'll give you a quick update of what's going on under the car. I have the line almost done. I just need to do the final bends around the K-member. And those lines around the K-member are definitely gonna be the hardest part. But luckily, as I said before, 
I built the template. So hopefully we can just match the bends on the template and we should be good. So here's under the car. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. So we have the bend off of the T and then we go to our first clamp right here. Then we move along to our second clamp and the Civics have a little bend. Let me see if I can show you guys properly. See, they have a little tiny, maybe like, it's hard to even see on camera. See, little bend right there, because that's how the frame rail bends. So to stay in line, you, know, you have to make that bend. So I made that bend. We're perfect in the next clamp. And then as you can see down there, the final clamp. And down here, there's also another little bend so that we're nice and tucked up against this frame rail all the way. So now we have to bend up and then tuck nice and close so we can make it under the key member and then up to our proportioning valve up there. So I'm gonna pull this line off I'm gonna follow the template that I made that I just showed you guys, and hopefully everything lines up because I really don't wanna have to do this again. Thank you. 